In this video, I'm going to show you how to mirror in Adobe Illustrator. To start, let's go through the most straightforward method of mirroring using the Reflect tool. For example, if you have an object that you want to mirror to the other side, first select that object. Once the object is selected, locate the Reflect tool on the left side of your screen in the toolbar. If you cannot find the Reflect tool, you can quickly activate it by pressing O on your keyboard. Once the Reflect tool is active, hold down the Alt key and click on the middle point of the side where you want to mirror the object. This will open the Reflect Options panel. In this panel, you can select whether you want to reflect the object vertically or horizontally. After making your selection, click Copy instead of OK. This will create a mirrored copy of the original object rather than modifying the original itself. The mirrored object will appear on the opposite side of the reflection point you defined. Now, let's explore another method that allows you to mirror an object while maintaining the ability to edit it further. First, select the object you want to mirror, then right-click on it and choose Group from the menu. Next, go to the Effect menu at the top navigation bar. From the drop-down list, hover over Distort and Transform, and then select Transform. The Transform Effect panel will open. Here, you can choose whether to reflect the object along the X axis or Y axis. Selecting the X axis will reflect the object horizontally, while selecting the Y axis will reflect it vertically. After selecting the axis, set the Copies value to 1 to create a single mirrored copy of the object. Once you have configured the settings, click OK to apply the transformation. If you want to make additional edits to the mirrored object while maintaining symmetry, you can use the Isolation mode. To enter Isolation mode, open the Layers panel from the right side of the screen. In the Layers panel, locate the Grouped Object, then click on the small menu icon in the top right corner of the panel and select Enter Isolation mode. You'll know you are in Isolation mode when the layer name appears at the top of your screen. While in Isolation mode, you can modify the original object and the changes will automatically be reflected on the mirrored side. Once you've finished editing, you can exit isolation mode by clicking the back arrow at the top left corner of the screen twice. To finalize your mirrored design, select the mirrored objects. Then go to the object menu at the top, choose expand appearance to convert the mirrored object into a fully editable shape. Finally, Right-click on the object and select Ungroup to separate the mirrored object from the original. This will allow you to adjust and modify each mirrored element individually if needed, and that's how you can mirror objects in Adobe Illustrator.